what's going on YouTube horror here and I'm gonna bring you guys a tutorial on how to make a simple house in cinema 40 for low poly okay so let's get started um basically what you're gonna want to do is open up cinema 40 okay now that you have it opened um this is what should come up and what you do is start off with a cube and you you can just make the size do 90 95 make it just an even number like an in-between number not really even but um and then get get a pyramid put this up make each side probably 235 and then make this about 75 and you're just gonna wanna push it make it go down a little bit okay now that you have the basic sizing or look of it now this is where you're gonna wanna go into detail so you can pick whatever side you want on this to um put the stuff like the doors and windows and whatnot on so i'm just gonna pick this side and once again you're gonna uh pick a cube and i'm gonna put these probably well didn't really do much 25 And just put this a little to the side so I can push this forward. I'll make you can just keep this twenty five and put these forty and forty. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now just put these, you know however you want your house to look basically I mean I'm not gonna choose how you have it to look like and then you can just move it over to the other side I like to try and make sure that everything is um even it doesn't have to be perfect but I like to have pretty close and I like to do colors so I can see where all the lines stop because right here you can kind of tell that it looks like it's just one part but um it's not so I'm going to make some materials so you're just gonna double click in this box down here and this will pop up and then you're gonna click this little tab here and go to gradient and click here double tap this little tab and get a reddish color there and get just a little darker of a red here maybe a little brighter red and put a little bit of a reflection on maybe like three and take specular off and then you can just put this on the roof that's the roof color or I mean you can really do whatever color you want but uh, I, pr I just use a red for a basic color and once again do the same exact thing gradient click this box go to this tab and now you're gonna want to do a light gray and then just a little bit darker gray take specular off and now you have your base color and then I'm gonna do the windows a blue 
Oops, wrong thing. I meant gradient. Box tab and do that color and then really I mean you can do obviously whatever color you want but I'm just giving you guys some ideas on what colors to choose and then I'm just gonna copy these because it'll be a lot easier and make these around oops I didn't mean to change that one that one can stay and move these to about 12 maybe yep 12 um just make another one make it not quite white but not quite um gray like a pearly white like a dirty white something like that and that can just be the windows just gonna want to move those out a little bit and then you're just gonna put four in each corner looks pretty good and then just copy those and move them over obviously that's not centered but and then just center them and now you have part of your house and now you're gonna want to get another cube once again and just make this 25 this is just like the depth the X is the depth Dep obviously depending on which way you are facing but the way I'm facing it's the depth and Y is the height I'm gonna do about 90 in that and then 47 um, Z is the width and just probably have it the same depth of your window. We're going to want to change the height and change that a little bit. Probably more like that. And that should be good. And then you're just going to want to um, make a brownish color for the door. And you do the exact same thing. Low poly colors are very easy to make un until you get into high poly. High poly is like rock, water, stuff like that is more of a high poly. And brown, I hate making brown because it's a very, not hard, but there's not really like a color in here for it. So you kind of have to customize it guess you'd say and there is that and that's just a basic house to make And obviously that, that does not look that good because there is no lighting. But once you put it into uh, your low poly light room, it looks pretty good. You can and then you can like put windows on the other sides. But this is I just made a simple house. And if you want, you can um, make another cube and make a chimney. And obviously, this is all customizable. You don't have to use the same dimensions I use, which you probably won't want to because that's personal preference. And I like to try just to keep it 
um, where the objects were first created because then they're all like centered and whatnot. That's another tip. I learned that. It's a pretty good tip. I like that. And you can probably just use that gray color again unless you wanted to go and go on the internet and search brick. And then you could just get this and put it into the Cinema 4D and make it kind of a brick chimney or whatever chimney you'd like. I mean, it can be um, a grayish look or whatever. And if you want, you can get even more detailed and make this a texture on here, like a rocky texture or whatever you'd like. Um, put doorknob, whatever. But this is just a basic chimney. Uh, roof, windows, door, and uh, basic walling walls, ba base house. I guess I don't know how to describe that. But um, guys, this is uh just one way to make a simple house in Cinema 4D for low poly guys. So this is horror. Peace out, guys.